Elagabalus was born in 204 AD, a member of the Severan dynasty. He was born in Homs, Syria, or Emesa, at that time. As a member of the Severan dynasty, he was of upper upper class background, and chiefly became the native Syrian priest of the sun god Elagabalus. And this would cause much controversy later in his life. In 218 AD, Elagabalus' mother, Julia Mesa, a highly influential woman, arranged for the, for the assassination and coup against m the reigning emperor Macrinus. After the loss at the Battle of Nisbus, this was quite easy to do. And Elagabalus got into power in 22, 222 AD. Elagabalus had bad senatorial relations due to him severe policy of largely ignoring them and also sometimes executing some of their members. Another reason was due to his religion. As he did not follow the traditional Roman pantheon, he had bad senatorial relations because 99% of them followed the traditional pantheon of Hellenistic God. The silver purity continued to decline in his reign, a common severe policy of debasing the coinage to pay for things. This would further lead to the 3rd century crisis and other issues that the empire would later face. In his reign, religion was not the only controversy. Apparently, one time, he killed somebody with a pile of roses. And apparently, he also wanted a sex change during his reign. And out of all Roman emperors, he probably takes the cake for the one with the most sex scandals. And all of this would further lead to the deterioration of uh, his popularity. As a member of the Severan dynasty, he had a unique popularity with the soldiers. Although he did not ingratiate himself or do any military campaigns, he at least did not have to worry about the actual provincial military revolting against his reign. Although he did not have to worry about the provincial military revolting, he had to fear something much worse, his own grandmother. He She worked with the Praetorian Guard, which was not hard due to his declining popularity and him being widely unpopular with the masses. In March 222 AD, Julia Mesa had her son or grandson murdered by the Praetorian Guard. This would mark the end of the reign of Elagabalus, who had reigned for four years, and beginning the reign of Alexander Severus. So after all of that, was Elagabalus a good Roman emperor? Personally, I think he's effed here as one of the worst emperors Rome ever had, down there with Caligula and Commodus, and many others. I think this is for a variety of reasons, including the basing of the currency, and many scandals that would hurt Rome. But that's the end of the video. Subscribe, like, and comment. Goodbye. <laughs>